My sister-in-law, Steph, has absolutely been killing it here on Maui doing weddings and portraits, and in her first year alone made over six figures. Absolutely killing it. So I wanted to give you guys an inside look, do an interview with her to show you how she was able to get to this point. This is also all gonna be part of a series called Talk Story, where I just interview some really inspiring and creative people and give you kind of a behind the scenes look into their life. So with all that being said, let's go and drive over to Steph's house. quarantining together. We're all on the same property. You ready? Let's do it. Hi, my name is Stephanie Betzel and I live in a little 300 square foot studio with my husband here in Hawaii and I run a six figure photography business. <laughs> When I first started out, I noticed that after hours and hours of research on YouTube and Google, nobody was really giving me like real tangible tips on how the heck do you start a business. So hopefully this video can be helpful to you just to, for me to get to the point, tell you what I did and how it worked for me. Like I said, the first thing that I did was watch a ton of YouTube videos um, and Google pretty much anything you could ever think of. Google has the answers to every question that could ever come to your mind. So I would watch just so many, so many videos and I was just so eager to learn. Um, and I think that's something that really skyrocketed me. I also got a mentor. If it's financially possible, you can't be afraid to invest into that. Um, these people have gone before you and they're gonna save you so much time and so much money um, worth of mistakes. You want to look to somebody that is at the point that you want to be at. So I looked for somebody that was successful. Um, they had, they took really beautiful photos, and they were working with the type of couples that I wanted to work with. Every single photography mentor will tell you that they're an open book, and you can ask them whatever you want. So with mine, I was really able to pick apart his brain, um, ask him why he did certain things, um, why he priced things a certain way, um, how he would photograph couples, his approach to weddings, really anything you could think of, I was able to ask him. Um, and that really just saved me hours and hours and hours of research, which was really great to get that time back. So once I felt like I at least knew how to like turn a camera on and basically operate it. I had my best friend and her newborn baby wake up at like 6 a.m. for sunrise. I took a few photos of them and they're still some of my favorite photos that I've ever taken and it's been over three years. The lighting was just perfect. I don't know, it just, everything aligned and it was perfect. And um, I just decided to not be afraid and to just post those photos online and see what happened. So I posted them on Instagram and I think I hashtagged like Maui photographer, but with that hashtag, I got a DM for a photo shoot. And I remember freaking out, oh my gosh. And they like asked me what my rates were. And I honestly was like, yep, I do shoots. Um, I charge $150 for a beach photo shoot and they were like, yeah, great, let's book it. And <laughs> once I booked it, I remember thinking, okay, I do not really know how to photograph couples. So I did even more research and I got other friends to model for me. And then I had that photo shoot and I just kept getting more and more content um, to fill up on social media and that really was the start of it. All that to say, um, I think it's really important to understand that in the very beginning, you're not going to be 
making money. You need to be asking friends that you know um, or just different couples that you know to model for you for free. Um, you have to be willing to put in work and kind of understand that when you're starting, you're probably not gonna be very good and that's fine because everyone starts somewhere, but you can't expect people to pay you a ton of money when you have no experience. So just know that you probably will have to work for free for a little bit to build that portfolio. And then once you get work coming in, you'll gradually be able to raise your prices um, to a rate that is livable, but it just takes time. Um, so don't expect anything to just come instantly. So after that first photo shoot that I was booked for, um, it was honestly just a snowball effect. I kept posting photos on Instagram and people um, would inquire with me and you know you get more work you put more out there and it just all picks up naturally. In conclusion I did a ton of research, I got a mentor and I put my work out there and honestly it still is kind of the same process. I really think that if you kind of follow these steps, um, work really hard, be really nice to people, serve your people well, um, then you can probably have a successful business too. So to wrap all of this up, hopefully this has given you some inspiration and some know-how, how to uh, start your own photography company. She definitely inspires me. And one of the coolest things is that she's always wanting to grow and learn and get better and so she's even started transitioning to film and i mean like film video filming on a super 8 camera and to my knowledge she's the only one that does that here on maui so again just super cool challenges me to always want to be able to grow learn and create new things just just getting better in general so i pass that off to you let me know in the comments below how helpful this was to you if you like this kind of series and if you would want more let me know too if there's other things that you'd want me to to touch on i i put the challenge myself i put it to you let's always be growing and learning make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already it really does help and make a difference and i'll see you on the next video